Hey you guys, Desmond here. And Lucretia. And welcome back to the channel. Ooh. Today, we are here to discuss RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 8, epi Episode 6, Joan, the Unauthorized Rusical Darling. So before no, we get into no, it... No, 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 no. <laughs> So before we get into it, just want to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. It really would help out in the channel. And any comment you want to say, make sure you comment it now. We got to build that up. We got to build this community. So it could be the most random thing. Put it in the comment section. We'll live. Now, what did we think of the episode? It was a good, it was a good musical. Well, I'm asking about the episode, not the musical. I know. It was an okay episode. Overall, I thought this was a great episode, actually. Probably one of my favorite episodes we've gotten so far. Um, the judging, again, I don't know what it is about the drag races of 2023, but production is playing in our faces. Mm, like it, we don't see it. Like we don't see. Like there's no way somebody shouldn't have been in the bottom two. Like don't get me wrong. They did good, but they should have been in the bottom two instead of Kahana. But we'll get into it. So let me switch my screen. Ba -da -bum, pa -dum, pa -dum. So mm -hmm. returning to the workroom after RuPaul announces that nobody was going home, mm -hmm. they sit down. Kahana and uh, Jim, not Jimbo, Jessica were happy about staying. They had Kahana once again fight with the box to open it up. And everybody voted for Kahana, except for Kahana, who voted for James. I mean, yes. uh, Jessica. And, you know, she was sitting there, and she wasn't hurt about it. She's like, I get it. It was my second time on the bottom. You know, mm -hmm. yada, yada, booty, boo. But the part that was getting me, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but the whole time after Kahana counted those votes, for the rest of that scene, Jessica sitting over there with a big-ass smile on her face. I'm like, oh, Jessica, you was messy. Jessica, I live. I live, yes, because that would have been me. Like, either way it goes, I was going to be safe. <laughs> uh, but even Jimbo announced that, you know, she chose Kahana's lipstick. Mm -hmm. Oh, but yeah, that killed me. Jessica was just sitting there smiling the whole time. Like, yep, I was not going nowhere. Now, Alexis right here in this photo. Isn't this giving me giving you Jan season twelve? Um when her and Widow had to do this is my night. That, isn't that get that's giving Jan from that lip sync, ain't it? <laughs> like that just hit me like I almost called Alexis Jan and I'm like, oh wait, no. And I'm like, yeah, that's giving very This is my night season twelve uh versus Widow Von Du. When she was doing mm -hmm. all the unnecessary moves to a Shaka Khan song. <laughs> but yeah, that just hit me. So, hey, Jen, we know you watch. Hi, honey, how you doing? Um, but Jimbo had a moment, which, again, producers, you're producing too hard because now I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So Jimbo's frustrated because, you know, she's doing great in everything but lip syncing. Right. So I'm sitting there, and I'm, I was just sitting there, I'm like, cool. So I know where the story's telling. Um, she can never win a lip sync until it's the lip sync. Like the lip sync for $200,000. Mm-hmm. I'm like, they're really building up this story that she's lost all these lip syncs. There's no way she can win the final lip sync. Oh, but they gonna make it so she win the final. And then lip -sync. the final lip sync, she wins two hundred thousand dollars in her first and probably only ever lip sync win. That's what it looks. That's what it looks like. It's building up to. Like if Jimbo does manage to get another win, I can see her losing that one too, just so they get to that finale, that top two, three, four, whoever. How many are lip syncing? Mm -hmm. And Jimbo fin she finally wins a lip sync, and it's for two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Again, production, we see your hand. Oh. So, it's the next day in the workroom. 
They're chatting, and they notice that the pictures on the wall have been replaced by Joan Crawford and of, um, what's her name, Faye Dunaway? Did I say that right? Yeah, Faye Dunaway. Faye Dunaway as Joan Crawford. So they're like, "Uh uh-oh, we're doing something Joan. RuPaul basically quoted Joan Mm -hmm. (laughs) through her little thing here. So RuPaul enters, and can we give it up for the suit real quick? (laughs) Can we give it up for the suit? Because the suit is suiting, okay? The suit is suiting. The suit is suiting. I'm like, come on, Ru. All right, yellow. I see you. Mustard. Okay. Okay. Floral print, not a couch. (laughs) Yeah, but RuPaul announces that this week's Maxi Challenge is Joan. The unauthorized musical. Oh, we knew that last week. <laughs> and then um, RuPaul announces that they will be assigning the roles themselves. So they go sit down. Which is always entertaining. Always entertaining. Now, this one wasn't as entertaining as No, we've been it getting. really wasn't. Because it was like the audition just was not what that was. It but really okay. wasn't. But, you know, everybody was sitting there, you know, it never got really heated. They were like, oh, I would do this. You know, for a minute there, nobody wanted to do the uh, Don't Fuck With Me Fellas Country song, which my mm-hmm. Texas ass probably would have leaned towards that if I couldn't mm-hmm. get the other two that I wanted. So, right. knowing the parts that were part of Joan the Rusical, which one would you have fought for if you were in the workroom? Uh, part of me is like I probably would have did the one James did. Okay, mommy dearest, okay. Just because that seemed like the most fun. Mm-hmm. Like to, and so opposite of me because mm-hmm. like I'm not a, a, a the type of person who's like, yeah, see, look, I got a kid. Uh, here you go. Like, yeah. It, that one was would have been the one I probably would have wanted to do. For me, I, I really liked Lala Ree's part. Lala Ree did a bomb job in there. I really enjoyed that, but the one that I probably would have fought for was the one that nobody wanted, the rock song. I'm like, how did nobody want Bring Me the Axe? Hmm. Like, what? Now, if I had to take the country one, I'm like, listen, my Texas ass can get it done, okay? Right. Can get it done. And also, No More Wild Hangers, I think that was my favorite song of the bunch. Like, I'm like, okay, oh, oh, hey, come on, Candy. But yeah. Right? Now, the No More Wild Hangers, they wanted, both of them wanted, both Candy Muse and Jessica Wild. So, right. they decided, let's do an audition. I don't like this. I'm going to tell you why. Because I think that's the producers being like, don't be, you think you want this one? Because if, say me and you were there, we both want the No More Wire Hangers part. I'm not going to audition in front of other people and let them decide. No, no, no. This is a decision. Me and you are going to have to come together. Now, if exactly. We play, if we play let me hear you scissors, sing it, and then I'll sing it, and we'll see what we can do. Like, if it had to come down to us playing Paper, Rock, Scissors... I don't care. I want it to be a decision me and you make. I don't want right. the rest of this room telling me what part I'm going to do. Mm. And that's just me. Like, no. No more wire hangers. Okay? Okay? But okay. A- after the audition, the group decided that Candy would get no more wire hangers. So Leland is there, and he's helping them. With the recording of the vocals, you know, it goes, it went. It happened. Jessica had me cracking with Mm -hmm. Brittany the ass. (laughs) Woo, some folks cannot see. Oh my goodness, baby, the auto-tune was auto-tuning. Auto-tuning. But I was, Jessica was one of the few that I'm like, wait, I hear a little something while she was recording. I'm like, wait a minute. And like hearing the final product, I'm like, "Mm mm-hmm. My ear Mm. caught that. My ear caught that. But yeah, the bring me the ass was so funny. (laughs) I I, I typically don't like laughing at people when their accents don't translate the way it should. Mm -hmm. But this was just too funny. (laughs) Because she just kept saying, bring me the ass. And Lena's like, axe. She's like, ass. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, but she got there. She got there and I lived for it. 
Oh, and Alexa is professional. Um, we had Ooh. our special guest judge come through and teach them the choreography. Mm-hmm. I liked his boots. Oh, the boots were everything. His boots were fire, bro. <laughs> yes. Now, let's get to this main stage. Up first, we have Mother. Rue fucking Paul. Baby. You said I came to step oh, on your neck hold today. On, hold on, I had to get some clacks for that. Because, ooh-wee. Mama Rue, baby, you didn't have to do it on the girls this week. You Look at how to. many screenshots you took. Hey, hey, hey. When Mama Rue has a good look, we gotta we gotta appreciate it, okay? We gotta appreciate it. Why does she it. look so uncomfortable? You heard Michelle like, can you breathe? Right. <laughs> We're all like, no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> uh, but I love it. Like, just so uncomfortable. <laughs> but she looked good. Mm-hmm. But she looked good, honey. Zaldi did the thing there, okay? Mm. But we are joined by Michelle Visage, looking stunning as always. T.S. Madison is back. See, I'm really happy with All Stars 8. We're getting more T.S. Madison. She feels mm-hmm. more like a rotating judge now than she did on 15. We're like, where, where are you, T.S.? Mm-hmm. Now, as soon as we start to miss Our her. Our titties match. <laughs> as soon as uh, we start to miss her, she pops up. I'm like, Hey. <laughs> and of course, our special guest judge, the choreographer Adam Shakeman. So now, Ooh, I love his eyeliner. Let's talk about Joan, the unauthorized musical. Just in general, the musical was amazing. Mm-hmm. Nobody did bad. No, nobody did bad. It was. So, I was so entertained. Like I said this on Twitter. But whoever has been in charge of the Rusicals for like the past like two years in particular, mm-hmm. they need a raise. Okay. Two raises, matter of fact. Two, three raises, something. Because, baby, they've been killing it with these Rusicals. Mm, the writing, the production, like everything the costumes. Is correct. Leland's doing such a good job with the music. Like, everything is coming together as it should. And Mm -hmm. I just, round of applause to whomever was in charge of that. Pay the writers. Right. Um, So, yeah, I love this. I thought this was a great musical. After watching this, I I, I was sitting there watching it, and I'm like, ooh, I don't know who's going to be in the bottom. There was only one I I, knew for sure, and she wasn't even there. But we're going to talk about it. Let's get into it. So it's time for Joan. And the person that was there, the one of the people that was there, I was like, I don't really think they needed to be there, but okay. Yeah, let's get to it. Uh, first is Kahana Montrese, who I thought did an amazing job. I thought she did great for somebody who who has had such a poor run with the acting challenges. She did really good this time. But you got to remember, she performs on Drag Race Live seven, exactly. eight times a week. And this is what Drag Race Live is. And exactly. they were like, oh, your And face I'm like, is... she gave us a show. What the heck do you mean? Did were like, you just oh, your trying face... to hurry up and get her back on the stage? Is that what that was? Yeah, they were like, oh, her face doesn't match her body. What are you talking about? I was fully into the performance. Exactly. She commanded I mean, the stage. I mean, do you really think Joan Rivers was that expressive? That part. That part. I, I was thoroughly impressed by Kahana and was shocked by her bottom placement. I was. No, not Rover, but Joan Crawford, but still. So neither uh, one of them. Did I say Joan Rivers again? I said Joan oh, Rivers. Oh, okay, because I, I. But I, maybe I, you said it, and that's why I. Said. I don't. I have to catch myself because I. I keep saying Joan Rivers. Okay. <laughs> no, Joan so, Crawford. Joan Crawford, honey. Up uh, next <laughs> is James Mansfield. I thought she did a good. Like I said, nobody did bad. No, but she didn't do bad. Like I, I, I'm not quite sure what my problem is with James Mansfield, but I thoroughly enjoyed her section of the the musical. My my thing is looking at how well everyone else did. It's just like, oh, James, you fell in the bottom by default. Like uh, like Michelle said, we're separating the A pluses from the A's. Mm-hmm. And you gave an A. Right. You gave an A. Still was a good job. You worked well with this dancer here. I thought she was cute. Yes. Um, I. That's why I was like, I think I would have wanted to do that. I thought it was cute. Yeah, like she didn't. And do it that. had the least amount of freaking choreography. 
<laughs> no, Jimbo's did. We'll get to it. Oh God, yeah, that did have Up like next the absolutely is the superstar that is Candy Fucking Muse. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Hang up. So, talking about a redemption from a rusical. Mm-hmm. Because you know, we we discussed it on this channel, well the other one, but season thirteen in the bottom, they discussed it in this episode. Technically went home. If I was RuPaul, mm. she would have really went home. Yeah. But talking about a full circle redemption right here, because she ate this up. Baby, the she choreography. Said, I've been practicing. <laughs> baby, that choreography was down. She knew the words. The song mm-hmm. was fun. Had the motions. Like, now I see why her and Yeska while were fighting over this. I'm like, I would have probably fought over this too. Because mm-hmm. this was a star making moment for Candy. And, like, I love it. As you see, she got multiple screenshots when the others just got one. But, yeah, this was just an overall amazing performance from Candy. Mm-hmm. Up next is Jessica Wild. Again, eight. She came up there and she she's like, oh, watch the part that nobody wanted. <laughs> uh-uh. I, I look, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you why y'all should have fought for this role. And baby, she did such a good. Th- the vocals were down for me. Like I was so impressed by Jessica's vocals. I'm like, what is going on here? I am living. I am living. Like, what did you think of Jessica's performance here? I thought she did a really good job. Like, I didn't even realize it was a rock section. Oh, I realized it was rock. But (laughs) I thought she did such an amazing job. And she committed. Yes. She committed to this scene. And that's something that I love so much. Um, Up next is La La Ree. What do we think of Miss Ree here? She she slam dunk, killed, shot, ten point, whatever sports acronym ar, blah, sports acronym you can think of. She did that. Oh baby, knocked it out the park just to throw another one in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and my favorite part was the slap. The this I was living. I was living. I'm like, yes, everybody gets one. Everyone gets one. Oh. Again, like, and her part really didn't have a lot going on. It was no. really la la. Like, that's how captivating she was. She really exactly. brought you in, and you were in the moment with la la. Yes. Now, another queen that I really thought should have been in the top this week Alexis Michelle. Love her hair. Baby, baby, Alexis, Alexis, baby, knew the words, Mm-hmm. probably had the most lyrics to learn. Yeah. The choreography was down. Mm-hmm. Like, I was so- Look the most like Joan Crawford. That. Like, I was so shocked when I heard she was safe. I'm like, wait, there's seven of them. Just keep them all up there and critique them all. Like, that that just really confused me when they did that. We'll get to that in a minute. But, yeah, she definitely deserved, like, some positive praise for what she did. Cause this Has she been critiqued everything. at all? Yeah, she's been critiqued positively and negatively a few times now. I don't know, but whoever did the costuming and oh. the wig... It, hands down, like th- if this doesn't get All Stars, I finally get them an Emmy. Because okay, because I, I don't think All Stars has ever gotten an Emmy. If they did, it wasn't. I thought, I thought All, or I think, maybe they just got nominated. I know I think, seven I think got, they got nominated. I know nominated. the main series got several of them, but like I think All Stars maybe won one for like Untucked. I think somebody correct us down below if you know. But yeah, All Stars won an Emmy. I think. But, mm-hmm. like, it was one of the side side categories. Like, if this don't get them a best whatever, like, this was so freaking good. This was so good. Mm-hmm. And then last, we had Jimbo. Now, I got to give Jimbo her props. Mm-hmm. This is the best she's done in a dancing challenge. Yes. 
she still struggled the most out of anyone. And the fact that she was not in the bottom two this week just really... Further proves that they're playing in people's faces. Further proves that they're playing in our face and they trying to keep her for the top. Mm-hmm. They want her to win. And don't get me wrong, Jimbo's an amazing queen and if she does win, I will be happy for her. But it's exactly. just like it's just like quit. Cause she she fully quit redeemed for, herself from Canada for yeah, me. Yeah, quit forcing it, and that's the issue. Right. Because Jimbo's done amazing job, but quit forcing it. Because some of those wins Jimbo got like out of her three wins, I think I only agree with one. The right. other two were really thrown at her, and I'm like, what is going on here? Like, just let the talent speak for itself. You're forcing it. And that's when people start sending hate towards these queens. And let me elaborate one more time. Do not send hate to any of these queens. Mm-hmm. You can disagree with what happens on the show without sending death threats to these queens. Right. Like, what is the point? Like, I'm going to say that every chance that I get, y'all, we can have opinions. We all have them. Exactly. You just heard the past, what, 21 minutes of our opinions. But am I going to go out and personally attack these queens? No. No. Like, honestly, I was so mad that Jimbo's line was always so long at DragCon because I wanted to get in it. <laughs> because, baby, I, want, I wanted to go see me some Jimbo, but that line, I just, I couldn't commit couldn't to Couldn't do the line. Couldn't do the line for couldn't. Jimbo. Couldn't do the line for Sasha Colby. Oh, God. But next year, I'm, I'm going to get in them lines. Next year, I'm going to have the money to get in all the lines I want to get in. I'm, I'm going to get in them lines. But anyway, yeah. Um, I feel like Jimbo was the weakest of the group. And after watching this, I'm like, okay, Jimbo for sure is in the bottom. But who is going to be there with her? And the fact that she wasn't there? Come on, production. And at this point, you know, we know so much about the behind the scenes stuff. They probably didn't know this. But we know that no matter who James would have been next to, she would have went home. Right. Because apparently all the stuff that went down on the first episode left a bad taste in all the queen's mouth. So, mm-hmm. like, it was kind of like a, a unspoken rule. As soon as she fell in the bottom, we were going to vote her out. Right. Honestly, I wish they would have did it when she was in the bottom with Darian. But anyway. Um, but, yeah, overall, amazing musical. Like, I've watched this musical several times. I, I love it. I love it. And I love a good rusical that you can come back and watch several times. Like, right? The Moulin Rouge. Oh, I watched that so many times. Uh, season 15, they're um, everybody getting wig loose. I've watched that so many times. I've watched. Larry. Oh, did you know that they performed that? I saw that. Um, I've watched the Larry Poppins one on UK4 so many times. Like,. Mm-hmm. It's just like, come on, like whoever's doing these raises across the board. Right. Oh, and this little moment here at the end. You know, I loved it. You know, I loved it. You know, I loved it. (laughs) Hold on. Let me go back because I think I got ahead of you. Oh, when they were all posing. No, when they were doing the uh, course line. Oh, the high kicks. Yes. You know you know that's my favorite thing to do. Mm-hmm. Even though you can't get your leg above your knee. Who said that? I don't know. I've the, seen it. The delusion that's on the other side of this screen. <laughs> baby, Again, this... I've seen it. You tried it in the hotel. <laughs> baby, I was in them shouts, honey. Okay. 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 Because, <laughs> baby, this leg can get up. My cousins used to laugh at me because I would just put my leg on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> I would. I would. I, I don't know what made me do it the first time. I was just like, hmm. And I just propped my And my cousin's just looking at me like, if you don't get your big ass leg off of my refrigerator, <laughs> I can Ah, uh, but yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, now the posing that was cute too. So now, it is time for the category Why you catch of this like week. This? Huh? Why you catch Rue in the middle of a sneeze? Honestly, I did not realize this is how I caught Rue until now. I wasn't even going to acknowledge it. I was just <laughs> going to keep going like nothing ever happened here. 
<laughs> but the category is Knight of 1000 Grace Jones. So is this. Now, I was, I, I was scrolling through some of Grace Jones' looks because, you know, they had to go through Getty Images to find their looks. And there were so mm-hmm. many on there that they didn't use. I'm like, oh, that could have been fun. That could have been cute. But I never actually mm-hmm. made the decision on which Grace Jones look I would do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But let's get into it. Up first, we had Kahana Montrese. I enjoyed her take on this look. I did, but I didn't at the same time. Like, it gets a soft tooth for me. Because it's too much red. No, I think she took, she went too far away from the inspiration. She went too showgirl. Yeah, she went too showgirl. She went too showgirl. And, I, you know, I appreciate queens, you know, doing their own inter- in- interpretation of a look. But I think she went just a little too far. Because mm. when, when you first see it, you don't see Grace Jones. Like, the next screenshot. You just see showgirl. When you see Kahana, this, uh, this to me don't scream Grace Jones. And then when you put the picture next to it, I'm like, oh, okay. Now I see it. Right. But yeah, this just didn't give Grace Jones. I still love it. Stunning. It just didn't give Grace Jones. Up next is James Mansfield. Up next is Candy Muse. I thought this was everything. I I enjoyed this actually. I, I knew this look. As soon as she walked down, I'm like, no, she didn't. <laughs> no, she didn't. Yes, she did. Oh my goodness. I really enjoyed this look. I really have enjoyed Candy's runway package for this season so far. Mm-hmm. I just did this this was a good look for me. And I love the K on her head. Like, it's just... Mwah. Right, instead of just the exclamation point. Yes. What did you think of this look? I actually enjoyed it. I, I was like, oh, it's a bodysuit with stuff on it. But at the same time, it's so candy. And she took the inspiration and made it her. So I had no problem with it at that point. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. Up you know, next. I have a whole 323 people yawning. <laughs> I'm sorry. Up next is Jessica Wilde. 423 people. Now, looking at the side by side, because I was not familiar with this look, um, mm-hmm. I thought it was cute. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really scream the the original look. Um, I, I'm okay with the opening down the skirt. It's the sleeves for me. I wish she would have left the sleeves off of it. Yeah, the sleeves kind of mess it up because the original was sleeveless. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is still a nice look. It gets a two. It gets a two. Up next is La La Ree. Eight. Eight. Like, I was so confused by the judges' critique talking about, well, you you gave us um, Grace Jones. It just wasn't one of her more memorable looks. Girl, the category was Grace Jones. If you wanted a memorable Mm. look, you should have said, Memorable Grace Jones. Did I know this look? Get it out of my mouth because I I agree wholeheartedly. Like, did I know this look? No, but she ate this down. Right, it was the look. What the heck else did you want? Like, even without the side by side, this is Grace Jones, Dolly. Like, I I think they said that just to justify her not getting the win. That part. I really think it was because honestly. It really, because she, she had every, she clicked every freaking box to actually get her first win. So did Candy though. Like watching this, I'm like, how, I like, I don't know how they're going to choose. And And that's why I'm not mad. I'm not upset that Candy won because Candy, Candy did good. Candy like totally redeemed herself. She did an excellent job and she was good all the way around. It was between her and Lala. Yep. I was sitting there and I'm like, see, if this was the old format where the top two lip synced for the win, it would be Lala and Candy. Exactly. And I was just sitting there watching the episode and I'm sitting there and I'm like, how, like after seeing the runways, I'm like, I don't know who they're going to choose. Is it going to be Candy or Lala? And then when I heard mm-hmm. the critiques, I'm like, oh, Candy. <laughs> I'm like, okay. 
they want to give her that full redemption from almost going home to winning. Understandable. Moving on to Alexis Michelle. Ate this down. Mm-hmm. Baby, I'm like, ooh, that's Grace Jones right there, honey. And I know that look. I, I did too. <laughs> now, you didn't ask the question, mm-hmm. but I would have did the one from Boomerang. Well, the only reason I didn't ask is because I know the queens had to use Getty images. And I imagine, you know, I went on there and started scrolling. But that was a lot to go through just to look through. So I'm like, Mm -hmm. I'm not going to ask the question this week. But I actually had an answer this week. And that's only if that look was on Getty images. Because if it wasn't, you would have had to pull out something else. But we'll say we'll say it is. We'll say it is. But yeah, this look is everything. The makeup is mwah. Like, this was a great week for Alexis. Mm-hmm. Up next is Jimbo. Eight. I love this so much. Eight. And Eight. I'm, I'm so And glad. She, she, she did the thing that they asked everybody to do in every single season, but she did it without having to be told, and therefore that was probably the reason why she was saved, because she went without the titties. I was so glad she didn't jimbo it. That's exactly what I was going to say. Like, with Grace Jones, you, I, there's not much leeway. So I really appreciate, I really appreciated her coming out and just giving us a Grace, Grace Jones. Jones homage. And the, the, the wig for a hat was genius. <laughs> Smart. Um, but yeah, genius. I'm like, come on. And I, as soon as she walked out, I'm like, oh, she's a model. Come I was on, like, jimbo. oh, I- I was so glad that she did it this way. Like, and I then, be like, because she don't even look Jimbo. like Jimbo. Like, it was a co- complete transformation. Yes. I was like, who is this? I'm like, girl, come on, Jimbo. Uh, yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. This look, but, but I don't she think deserves this... to be safe this time. Nope, I don't think this look was good enough to save her. Great look, but I don't think it was good enough to save her. I don't. I don't. So, out of our top seven queens here, who had your favorite look of the week? Mm, my favorite look? Alexis. Same. Alexis and Michelle really did it for me this week. Really did. Really did. But we. I mean, out- I know I didn't gush over it, but it was still... Yeah, uh, we find out that Alexis and Jimbo is safe, which means Jessica, Candy, and Lala are in the top, with Kahana and James in the bottom. Do you agree with these placements? I don't think Kahana should have been at the bottom. I don't either. Honestly, I said this earlier, I think all seven of them should have got critiqued. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the tops should have been Candy, Lala, Alexis, and Jessica. And our bottoms being can not candy, but Kahana, James, and Jimbo, with James and Jimbo the bottom two. Mm-hmm. That's how I think it should have went. And like I said, knowing what we know about how about the girls were feeling, James was gonna go home regardless. Mm-hmm. Like Kahana could have been the bottom for all five episodes, and James still would have left here today. But we find out that the winner is Candy Candy Muse, Muse. which I agree. I agree. Like I said, I was torn between her and Lala, but I agree. Mm -hmm. And we find out that the bottom two is James Mansfield and Kahana Montrese. So, you know, they go to the ladies' room and they do their voting. So, how would you vote for this week's lipstick? I would have voted for James. But that's just because for me, that would have been me playing the game. Uh-huh. Not necessarily because I think that James is such a strong competitor because she's just kind of been coasting this whole time. Mm-hmm. But she's stronger than Kahana. If I was in the top, if I was the top all-star of the week, if I would have saw what the other queen saw about James... Oh, I don't know. This one was a real head scratcher for me because I don't mm-hmm. know how I would have voted. Honestly, I would have be, have to be in the moment. But 
if I had to choose a lipstick, I think I would have chosen James. If I was the top all star. Mm -hmm. Now, if I was voting like as a group, I probably mm -hmm. would have chose Kahana. Like if I was just part of the group vote. But that's only because if I knew everybody else was voting for James. <laughs> They'll be like, wait, where does the extra vote for Kahana come from? I don't know. Who I don't voted? know. Who, who voted for Kahana? Who went against the group? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Otis. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing the whole time it was me. <laughs> but you've been saying that the whole time. <laughs> and you, you know what I love? I keep saying different things each episode, so you really don't know how I'm going to play if I'm ever in an all-star setting. <laughs> Because <laughs> remember, uh, at first I was saying I wouldn't send nobody black home. Mm -hmm. um, then I said, oh, I'll take the competition out. Then I'll mm -hmm. say I'll play mind games. You never know. I might do a mixture of all three. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but my thing well, is, no, if, that's if I ever grace the stage of Drag Race, mm -hmm. I better win. I better win. I'm going to be mad. But... I've always said, like, if I were to step into drag and if I were to step into drag race, I would want to play all formats. And what do I mean by all formats? I, the regular format, which is, you know, lip sync for your life. Mm -hmm. I want to do the traditional all stars, which what they use for versus the world where there's the top two. They lip sync for the win and they send somebody home. Mm -hmm. I want to do the um, lip sync assassin version where everybody votes. And I also want to do the version where nobody gets home. Nobody goes home. So eventually, on one of those versions, I'm going to have to win so that I can do the version where nobody goes home. Mm -hmm. And whatever rules they have for Global All-Stars, because I'm hearing there might be a rule change for Global All-Stars. We'll have to wait and see. But, yeah, if I want to play all formats of the game. I just love the game. I'm going to be like Jimbo, because if you look at Jimbo, she's played every format that you can play other than the all-winners format. She did the traditional lip sync for your life. On UK versus the world, they did the lip sync, you know, the top two lip synced. Mm -hmm. And now she's doing the lip sync assassin for a format. All that's left is the all winners. I would be Jimbo. And my thing is, if I would win and they asked me to come back, I would. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't care if I just got done. Yeah, I'll come back. Sure. When, when do I need to be there? How long do I got to get my shit together? Like, I would do an All-Stars as a winner. I would do a Versus the World as a winner. Yeah. Send me back. Because mm -hmm. even, if I get, even if I get sent home first or early in the season, they can't take my win away. I still won my original season or whatever season I won. So just because I, just, just I lost this other one, don't take away the win I got there. So guess what? I'm coming back. Y'all could be sick of me. Y'all thought Juju B came back too much. Mm-hmm. Every time, ring, ring, ring. Hello, World of Wonder. Oh, you want me back? Okay, okay. When, when I need to be there? Big. I'm, I'm going to start packing. It Look, you have your own show at this point. Baby. <laughs> I don't know what country I can host because, you know, I'm from America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but hey, Rita Baggins um, uh, from uh, Canada and got the host Belgium. Drag so. race, mixed race. <laughs> so I don't know. I could probably host another English-speaking country. Uh, no, I don't know. Drag Race Jamaica. Oh Lord, no, no, the Jamaicans no, don't no, like us. No, no, the Jamaicans don't like us, honey. No, they don't. No, they don't. But anyway, um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Terry McMillan gave us false hope. <laughs> so they voted. They did all that. Whoop de woo. Everybody's going in. Anybody right. over the age of 38 will know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm so Candy Muse, and I'm glad Candy confirmed this on Twitter. Because when she was walking up to get pick her lipstick, I'm like, this looks like the uh, the outfit she wore for the girl group on season 13. You know, at the beginning for congratulations. You know, mm -hmm. the one. I'm sitting there and I'm like, that that looks like that. And she confirmed it on Twitter. I'm like, okay. Okay. I thought I thought it looked familiar, honey. But Candy mm. made her decision. We're on the main stage, and we find out that this week's lip sync assassin is a queen near and dear to your heart. It's Angeria Paris Van Michaels from season. Whom I did 14. not get to see because by the time I got to her booth, it she was gone. Yeah, 
every time I went to Angie's booth, she was not there. Angie, I'm gonna need you to stay at your booth, baby. Well, stay honestly, at your booth. the times I went, I should have known better because one time was like lunchtime, one time was close to the end of the day, so it's just like I chose the wrong times to go. And then I missed the opportunity to see her at the Got to Be Glued station because she was there too. Oh, I think see, she I was one of the first the ones that was I knew up Rockham there. I Rockham did it, and I know Jada, of course, because you told me you met Jada there. Well, I saw you Me. in the line waiting to meet Jada while she was still doing her presentation. Mm-hmm. And I was going to get in the line, but I was like, eh, I'm going to go. <laughs> I know, but it would have been sweet. We would have both been family. So, you know, now I'm a haul and you're not. That's okay. That is okay. That is okay. I'm glad you're a haul. I'm a king hall. Yeah. <laughs> oh my I'm a goodness. Kong hall. Wait a minute. I'm a Kong hall. <laughs> I'm going to say a Kong Cooper hall. Oh, I am a Kong Cooper hall. <laughs> That's my whole name. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, they lip sync to probably one of my favorite Grace Jones songs. I'm not perfect, but I'm perfect for you. Baby, I popped so hard because I'm like, I wonder which Grace Jones songs is going to be. Because I figured mm-hmm. it had to be. A, I figured it was going to be a Grace Jones song or it was going to be like an old Hollywood type song to fit the whole Joan Crawford situation. Mm-hmm. So when I, when I saw it was Grace Jones and I'm not perfect, but I'm perfect for you. I'm like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> me like, me like, me like. So what do we think of this lip sync? Um, it was entertaining. Very much so. Now, I love me some Angie. I do. But Candy mm-hmm. ate you up, girl. She did. Ate you all the way up. because Candy, All the way up. Because Angie was doing a good job, but Candy was serving that sex, honey. Yes. She like, was giving you Grace you, Jones. You gotta give the sex when you're performing Grace Jones, honey. And she gave it. Mm-hmm. She gave it... I was I was just I couldn't keep my eyes off of candy. <laughs> I'm like, okay, ma'am. I think this is my favorite candy lip sync, honestly, because yes. you know her lip syncs on season thirteen. Uh, I, I didn't agree with some of her wins, but this one, oh baby, <laughs> baby, 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 <laughs> and poor Angie, poor Angie. Mm-hmm. And that's the second season 14 queen because we had Jasmine Kennedy just last week, right? What's it last Yeah. Week? And now we have Angie? Baby? Mm-hmm. Come on, season 14. But, you know, rumor has it they asked a good chunk of season 14 to be on All-Stars 8, and they all said no. Because mm. it was too soon. Which I agree it was too soon. But, yeah, I heard they asked a good chunk of them, and they all said no. You know what, though? Because I think a lot, a good chunk of season 14 and 15 were, were like mentally screwed by those, this, their seasons, mm. honestly. Like, because everybody's like, my NDA is up in however many days, weeks, months. Yep. But RuPaul made a decision. And the winner of this lip like sync is though, Candy Muse. Do you agree with Candy Muse winning this lip sync? Mm-hmm. I do too. I do too. Angie, thank you for coming. She got to go sit backstage. And also, Candy won thirty thousand dollars. Yes. On top of the five thousand she won for winning the episode. That's thirty five thousand door hairs. Chingle chingle. Chingle chingle. That ain't no change. That is chingle chingle, honey. Mm-hmm. All right, so we have our bottom two here. Candy must now make a decision, and she chose to send home James Mansfield. Now, I didn't get the screenshot, but so did mm-hmm. everybody else. Everybody else except for James chose James. And you know what gets me, what pisses me off? People are saying that, oh, Candy didn't go by track record like she said she was. Yes, this is Kahana's third time in the bottom. Let's not act like it isn't. But guess what? Kahana has a win. Does James have a win? Nope. So for me, that win gives her a little bit more grace versus somebody who's in the bottom for the second time and doesn't have a win. Mm-hmm. 
So even if you want to go by track record, James, to me, is the correct choice. But hey, who am I? I'm just a, a YouTube reviewer. And James went home. Now, we got to talk about what's going to happen next week. Mm. So there's going to be an improv challenge. And Kahana's already not feeling it. She's like, it's another acting challenge. In her head. is like going through emotions. Baby, she is going through it. Apparently, Alexis and Candy get into some form of disagreement. Alexis is crying. Candy is over <laughs> it. Either Alexis or Kahana's packing their bags because of what's going on in the workroom. And baby, mm-hmm. Mama Rue said, baby, we gotta fix, clear some shit up real quick. Baby, mm-hmm. y'all done got, y'all done got, you're, getting, you're finna get real RuPaul, not producer. This is real RuPaul. What the fuck are y'all doing? Right. Y'all know we got a fucking show to do. What are y'all doing up in here? Why is everybody trying to quit, god dang? Damn. One quitting is enough. Yeah, one, we get that. Okay, baby, it's good for the ratings. But the rest of y'all, get this shit together. <laughs> baby, get, get your, your shit, shit together. together. Baby. But before we wrap things up, you know we have to go through the fame games. So, up first, we have Monica Beverly Hills. Ew. I'm shocked she chose this Grace Jones look. Mm-hmm. It's cute, but it don't give Grace Jones unless you see side by side. Right. Up next is Nasha Lopez, and again, I, I I I am all for people doing their own interpretation, but I think you jumped a little too far away. Yeah, I like Grace's better than hers. Yeah, so this, yeah. Now, Mrs. Kasha Davis. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I was living. I was living. I knew the look immediately. (laughs) And then she even did the back of the dress the same way. I'm like, baby, you could have did this for the As the World Turns. (laughs) You could have did this, but then you wouldn't have a Grace Jones look. But still. Exactly. This was everything. I lived. I did. And baby, when I tell you it's only been, what, two weeks? But Darian Lake so far has my vote. Because what? Oh my god. (laughs) This was everything. This was my favorite Grace Jones look. Again, this is what the third week in a row my favorite look came from the Fame Games. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, Alexis is a close second, but Darian, like, look at the material. (laughs) As of right now, Darian has my vote for the Fame Games. Who has your vote so far? You know what? I haven't really thought about it. Mm -hmm. As of right now, it's Darian. We got to see how the weeks go. But as of right now, it's Darian. Darian got my vote. She really do. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. Oh, it's a shame we didn't get a lip sync from Darian this season. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, I'm so mad. Because, you know, baby, assassin. Definition of assassin. (laughs) Sent Ben de la Creme home twice. Ooh. Let's not forget. Sent her home twice. Mm. But the voting opens July 14th. So make sure you go and vote. And please vote for who you think had the better collection and not... Who you feel like was robbed. Right. Because, yeah, that ain't cute. That ain't cute at all. So, I think it's time for us to wrap things up here. Kresha, where can they find you on the social medias? You can find me at Kresha McGill. That's C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L on all social media. And you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. That's S-I-M-P-L-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all soon. Bye.